Previously on Do So. A transfer, sir? To Ottawa. Would you just listen to me? Look, I swear, I swear to God, I will punch you right in the face. Fair warning. What is that? No, I'm, I'm, going to I'm going to punch you in the face. Why don't you listen to me? This came in today. What do you do with a drunk transfer? If I can get my own life, my own name. One more case. Then we're done. Seem to be a map. Of course it's a map. He's a pirate. Bad thing, sir. What? Ghost ship. Crew long dead. You think you might have a killer on board? My crew? In your crew, sir. Go kid that ahead, man. Stay your course. There's nothing I can do to you. This was part of the big shipment that got stolen from the Chicago Federal Reserve Bank last year. We have an excellent lead. All we need to do is find the robbers, and we'll find Constable Frazier. This is why we're getting stale, Frazier. Communication, we're not doing it. It was a big heist, gentlemen, which means there was a big team. But on the dock with pictures of this wailing Yankee crew. We shake everything down, maybe we'll come up with a couple more dead guys. Uh, sir, what if we shake some gold while we're at it? Yeah, there was. I mean, there was a lot of gold. Yeah. You find gold before you find Vecchio and Frazier. I'm going to load into your pants and drop you into the lake. Keep your eye on the prize, gentlemen. we got offices out there. They might need a lifeline. I paid 300 bucks, 300 bucks for his stupid game, that didn't work. Well, you know, generally speaking, water and electronics are not a good mix. Generally speaking. Yeah. Oh, well, look at that. He's a fish. Yeah. Yeah. It's an encouraging sign. That's not a sign, Fraser, it's a fish. Well, it's a trout to be exact, which is a sign that the water quality of the Great Lakes is actually returning. Look, why are you arguing with me, Fraser? It's not a sign, it's a fish. That means that the, the boat's sinking and we're dying. Oh, well, yes, yeah, it's a sign of that also. Ow. Fraser, I got a signal. Detective division. It's them. It's them. Get them on speaker. Where are you guys? Sink something. What sink? Uh, kitchen sink, perhaps. Where is your sink? Sink. Sink. We're sinking. Get them the coordinates, right? I think we're roughly 47 degrees latitude. 47 degrees latitude. 85 degrees longitude. 80 Write that down. 47, 85, uh, 5874. Got it. 4785. Dyslexia. Great. Got that. Got Battery stage. A license plate? Phone number. Part of a phone number. There's a 478 exchange in Chicago. Is it a reverse directory? Get somebody on it right away. Dial every number with that prefix. It's kind of a long shot. Yeah, there could be thousands of numbers. Who's going to take on a job as revolting and tedious as that? You don't have to have a screwdriver, do you, Ray? No, not on me, Fraser. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, well, I left my garage in my other pants. All right, mental note. Equip myself with a portable waterproof all-purpose toolkit. Standard issue for every mounting. 
They don't last very long. Come on, light another one. Uh, I think we should save the others for an emergency. And this is what? Recreational swim? All right, you know, any situation can deteriorate! Pierre. Hey, what if you ran into a pile of gold? What would you do with it? Oh, it's a snap. I get a storefront, strip mall somewhere, open up a comedy club, call it the ad lib or the one liner. A strip mall? Yeah, I mean it's not big time, but at least you get a steady flow of business. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Do one. What? Do a one liner. You always I... looking for a date? Tell me, how's it going? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> hey, listen, you want to do me a favor? Just look at these photographs for us. Just take your time. You know her? Well, high school. She's grown up. Ah. All right. We have to go this way. Come on, Fraser. Hang on a second. 150 yards underwater? Well, meters, actually. Meters, yards? You think my lungs know the difference? It's our only option. That's an option? Well, no. No? What kind of logic is that? Well, it's logic of a kind. How? It's sort of like a, a strange loop. It's like Gödel's theorem. Who's Gödel? Gödel, who the hell is Gödel? Gödel is a German mathematician. He found this theorem that loosely translated means uh, everything I say is a lie. So everything he said was a lie? Well, right, except that what he just said was the truth. So everything he said was a lie and the truth at the same time? Exactly. See, it, le it loops back in on itself. A loop? I see. This I get. This is blood. This is... I can go with this. Right. Well, it's also a function of logic. Logic, see? There you go again. You always got to take it one step further, Fred. One step over the line. Why are you yelling at me? I'm not yelling. You are yelling. I'm not you are yelling not. at me. I can't. I can't swim. Right. Right. Well, then a quick lesson is probably what's called for right now, okay? Coat off. And I want you to try to think about... Uh, think of yourself as a flower that opens by day and then it closes down at night, all right? So think, bloom, close. Bloom. Close. Right, okay, what do I do with my feet? Just kick. Kick as though you were interviewing a suspect. You ready? Big breath. Oh, that, that's buddy breathing. Uh, you seem to be in a bit of a, well, having a problem. I have excess lung capacity, so. Buddy breathing. Uh, standard procedure. Okay. Uh, good. Okay, all right. Nothing's like change or anything, right? No. Okay, good. Thanks. You're banking me? Look, don't get too excited, Fraser. The jury's still out on this partnership thing, okay? Oh, well, don't worry, Mr. Instinct. I'm not excited. Ah! Yes. 
So what would you do if you came across a pile of gold? Me? Yeah. I get one of those drum machines, plug it in. They got the whole kit on them. You know, bass, snare, cymbals, and you can program patterns and stuff. You know, rhythm patterns. Really? Oh yeah, it's very cool. So like a traveling DJ sort of thing? Yeah, sort of. Cool. That's it. Fighter extinguishers. Your bet, Ray, should make an excellent propeller. Ray, have you done this kind of thing before? Well, no, not precisely. Although there was one occasion when I was underneath a drilling platform in a fjord. It was just south of Clyde River. Come on, Frazier, just tell me the truth. Just say, I'm going to endanger your life, Ray, my friend. I'm going to endanger your life in a wildly bizarre way. All right. Ray, my friend, I'm going to endanger your life in a wildly bizarre way. Step back, follow me. John Thomas, a.k.a. Tommy John, a.k.a. Jimmy Thomas. Done time for armed robbery and assault. He was a weapons expert, served with the 82nd Airborne, specialty in explosives and tunnels. Perfect for the Federal Reserve job. All right, go check his apartment out. Look, I'm not waiting for a lawyer in this. We're going to go in there like we know the full sheet. We're going to grill a snot out of him. Yeah, let's kick some butt. Oh. Francesca, you're not official. Well, neither is she. You can't grill me with two chicks, fucks as though they might be. I got rights. Yeah, we got two missing cops out there. You got no rights, pal. Hey, you didn't even Miranda me. We're not looking for a conviction. We just want some information. And we are not playing games, Ashtray. Ashtray? We're here to get some information, and we're gonna get that information. Get out of my face. You know, you, you, you don't seem to understand that there are people out there that we care about, hair bottle. Hair bottle? And we're not gonna let a little piece of melon like you get in our way. Do you understand? Melon? You know what she means. No, I don't. Melon? Ashtray? Hair bottle? What kind of talk is this? Is this some kind of code? Step under his mattress. The Illinois Lake Freight Company. Has been working for them a year and a half after he went down on their ship. Take a lesson at real dedication. Yep. Gilbert Wallace, CEO, President, Chief Bottle Watch, Illinois Lake Freight. I want to know everything about Mr. Wallace and his company. Everything. You got it, Lieutenant. You know what? Mm -hmm. I think we should work together. We do work together. No, I mean, on the other stuff. Like, say you get your drum machine, I get my one-liner. Yeah. You know, I do the zinger, do the rim shot. Yeah, OK. So we go, uh... You go like, ladies and gentlemen, my wife is so... Like that? You have to wait for the joke to finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got them all under control. Yeah, partner, I did that more than a star than else. Yeah, coming up. 
We better get a move on it. They put a distress signal. Coast Guard will be moving in soon. No, we've got a couple of hours at least. Canadian budget cuts. Some kind of salvage operation. Yeah. Okay. They're not gonna go quiet. No, but they will go. And this time they'll go down with the ship. What about the cops? Lying in the bottom? What are they saying? They're under my range. I have to try to get closer. Why? Why are we even on this tub in the first place? There we were having a leisurely swim, doing the bloom falls bloom. We got a goal, Rob. Then we have a freight company. We got a real dead guy, Matt carved on chest, could be pirate, down in the basement. We got a crew made up of the undead. Now, can you tell me how this stuff possibly fits together? Well, let's start with the pirate. Patch, book, he's got everything. I see your progress leaves something to be desired, Constable. Well, with only four numbers, sir, yes. Constable. Four numbers are more than sufficient to locate it. Four numbers? Four tiny little ordinals. Four, seven, eight. You five. said he had a map? Yeah, carved right in his chest. It's not a phone number. It's coordinates. Coordinates. Map coordinates. He's giving us map coordinates. We need a map. Somebody get me a map! Four, seven, eight, five. That's Lake Superior. Get a map of the lake. Do you have to do that? Very high arsenic content. Freezer, spit it out. Well, no, you know, a little bit of arsenic can't hurt you, Ray. I think this entire ship is a floating toxic dump. This is all about garbage? No. The illegal disposal of toxic waste is a lucrative criminal activity. Look like garbage to you, Freezer? Well, that looks like gold. It would make things easier for you. I could slice the map right over his chest. That might help. Mm -hmm. See all right? With Turnbull, one can never tell. Wait! Here. Here it is. In the map coordinates? There. Almost the same place. That's near Sam Thorne's detachment headquarters. We can secure resources there. The open waters are calling me back. You were a sailor? My uncle worked the lake boats. The sea is my genetic destiny. Shape up, we're shipping out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on? The cops got John Thomas. Come on, get to him. Dumb play. It'd be kind of fun to shoot him, though. Forget him. Here's the drill. We get the gold out, set the charges in the cargo, blow the hole, and move on. By the time the cops figure out what's happening, we'll be just another shipwreck. Yeah, that's going to take some time. But you better get a move on. OK. They're gonna combine the poisons with the explosives. It's a combination of arsenic, oil, PCBs. Well, it could lead to an ecological disaster of unimaginable proportions. You see, Ray, this, this vessel lies up current of six fathoms shoal. The toxic spill here would contaminate the St. Mary's River, which is one of the most fertile spawning grounds in the entire Great Lakes, and that in turn could set off a chain reaction that could lead to, well, it could lead to the destruction of life in the entire Great Lakes. So, Ray. Ray. What are you doing? The gold. The gold is secondary. Follow me. Ray. All right, let's get it done. Pallets one, three, and six, top deck. Let's go. Let me know as soon as the transfer vessel gets here. Henderson! 
Thompson! Don't let to sleep on me back there, huh? Keep at it. We got two naked seamen here! Roger, two naked seamen. Find these guys! Turnbull was supposed to be cutting this path. Knowing Turnbull, he's either taken a circuitous route or gotten himself entangled with some bears. Bears? There are bears in these woods? He's fairly crawling with them, I would imagine. Great. Bears. <sighs> Inspector. What are they doing? Hiding. But I can see them. New recruits. Although it seems they have I congratulate captured you on Turnbull. Your impressive technique. Must be some kind of drill, I would imagine. <laughs> Identify yourselves! Inspector Meg Thatcher, Royal Canadian Mounted Police! Sir! Meg? My God. I haven't seen you since, well, since the incident. What brings you to this neck of the woods? We have two officers in trouble. Say no more! Follow me! Recruits to heal. Yeah, you're hogging all the room, Fraser. Can you move your leg? No, I can't move my leg. Why? It's asleep. Oh. You got any idea where we are? Oh, yes, you're right behind me, and I am right in front of you. I mean in the water. Well, we should be coming across Six Fathom Shoal, at which point I'll be able to navigate by dead reckoning. Well, that, that is provided I've calculated correctly. All right, if you haven't? Oh, well, then we'll be hopelessly lost. Oh, see, this is what I love about you, Fraser. That real positive, you know, everything's gonna work out fine kind of attitude. It really butters my muffinets. Oh, thank you, Ray. Oh, he's right, you know, son. You're too logical and dispassionate. Uh, it's too hard on him. You can't force your standards on other people. Come on now. What are you looking at? You. Come on, keep your eyes on the road. Just uh, looking at me. What? Call these resources? Well, there have been a few budget cuts lately. Still, Sergeant Thorne is an excellent man. Well, woman. If she's so excellent. What's she doing out here in the boonies? Well, she has a few uh, idiosyncrasies. Her official performance review designation was BTC. BTC? Big time crazy. She had a long-standing dispute with headquarters regarding the future of the force. Her position was that we should revamp and develop ourselves into a fully-fledged naval power. Naval power? Hmm. Well, why not? What's the point of having a strong federal force without a strong naval power? I don't think that we need to get into that right now, Sergeant. <laughs> you know what's over there? No. The United States of America. That would be a foreign power. A damn big one, too. We have a special relationship with the United States, Sergeant. Oh, no, sure. England and Spain get along now. But don't forget about the Spanish Armada. Think about it. If Nelson hadn't been ready, we'd all be speaking Spanish, and I have no love for Romance languages. Are you an American? Lieutenant Welsh is working with me. I'll keep that in mind. Meanwhile, I've been assessing your situation, and what I think you need is a boat. Exactly. You have one? I think I might have something that fits the bill. <laughs> Come on, Fraser. Are we under the creek without a paddle here? Are we lost? No, we're not. We're not. We're not. Uh... Uh, just admit it, Fraser. We're lost. No, we're not. We're not lost. Admit it. All right, we're lost. Okay. Thank you. Go that way. Why? I got a feeling. It's it's it's, it's a hunch. It's a feeling. Go that way. Yeah, but there's absolutely no reason why. I'm, Look, why... Fraser. Just this once. Just this once. I trust you every single time. Every single time. I gotta trust you. Just once, you trust me, go that way. Do it, son. 
And but if we no if ands or buts, just Buck Frobisher and I didn't speak for three years. Then there we were, face to face across the raging waters of the Nahani River. Criminals bearing down on us. He had a rope, I had a grappling hook. The only route to safety was to meet in the middle. You gotta trust your partner, son. Otherwise, nothing will go right. That way? Yeah, that way. And I don't think it's a freighter. Judging from its shape, its displacement, I think it's... Oh, my God. I don't believe this, Ray. Prepare to surface. Jelly beans, sing like a T bird, talk like a puppet. Talk like a puppet? What does that mean? It means we know you were in on the robbery. And Illinois Lake Freight is behind you. Why don't you just tell us, Johnny? Spill your guts, because if you don't, I'm going to keep talking to you till you're pink in the face. Pink? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to brawl you, baby. I'm going to give you the second degree. And if you don't believe me, ask them, because I can keep talking longer than an eternity. Even longer. So, beef butt. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I'll talk. It's like you said, we did the robbery for Wallace. What about the boat and the sailors? Eh, we blew the reserve and put the gold onto a Hercules. Flew north to a small strip of Manitoba, but flying low under the radar. We hit a squall, went into Superior, just off of Six Fathom Shoal. Yeah, come on. We've been trying to bring it up ever since, but it's not easy. We had to make a mini Bermuda Triangle. That's where Wallace got the idea for the ghost ship. Dress up like the Robert McKenzie, he said, and scare everybody off. Thank you for the uniform, sir. My pleasure, Constable. The uh, sword is a unique addition. An essential modification for naval duty. <laughs> Completely unacceptable. It's a violation to the uniform. Using recruits to build a boat is one thing, but tampering with the uniform, I'm sorry, but I must put my foot down. Thank you. That'll be enough, Constable. Piss off. Jack and Dewey moved in on Illinois Lake Freight. Looks like you were right. They're dumping massive quantities of toxic waste on consignment. That's how they finance the Federal Reserve job. Thank you for that expository information, sir. Has there been any word from the Coast Guard? Still more than three hours away. All right, it's up to us, then. Fraser, why is it always up to us? How quickly do you think you can get us there, sir? Full sails. Good wind. 
33 minutes and 17 seconds. We have a full complement of cannons. Our men have been doing gunnery drills for weeks. We're in fighting trim. Just give the word. Sir, as ranking officer. Set the sails! Set the topsail. Aye, aye, sir. Set the topsail! Them as what dies will be the lucky one. What are you talking about? Wooden ships and iron men. Oh, it's good to be back at sea again, son. You've never been at sea, Dad. Well, I've been contemplating a cruise. The roll of the waves, the glare of the sun, the acceleration of the wind, dinner with the captain, Polynesians. Oh, it's romance. This is romance. It's got the feel of romance about it, son. Oh! 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 Hey, Yank. What? You got something of the sea about you. I used to work the lake boats with my uncle. I thought so. You got a good spine. So. <laughs> Illinois. Chicago. Fraser, I'm the answer. I'm glad you're alive. <laughs> then put it down and some mid sail. Find you an incredibly aggressive young man. This is very odd. It's high noon and the sun is setting. Ah, that's romance, son. <sighs> Sir, we've got something big moving toward us. But I can't pick up an engine. Then cover the gun. Whatever it is, we'll blow it out of the water. Come on. I don't like this. They got a big metal ship. We got this little wooden boat. We have the advantage of surprise. But they can see us coming. Oh, Ray, imagine yourself at sea. And suddenly you find yourself set upon by members of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and the Chicago Police Department in a vessel that is a replica of the HMS Bounty. Well, wouldn't you be surprised? Depends. Depends on what? If I could see you coming. The time is upon us. Inspector. Give the word, Captain. Battle station! Put your back into it, Lieutenant. Second count when we're in combat. Gun is ready, sir. Eight seconds. Not bad, sir. Thank you, sir. Know how to do this? Standard training. Run it up! You never know when a ceremonial cannon might need to be fired. Come on, come on. We're right behind us. Coming up hard. Ready to port shot. Trip the custom. Ready? I yeah, know, that'd be good luck.
of Phillips. Seek a child with Hillary. Hang on. Hey, I'll be there to... Wait. 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 Lower your weapon and surrender. Maybe I should just feed you to the fishes. Andy Calhoun, oblique stroke Vic Hester, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Am I missing something here? Only that I have a partner who should be showing up just about now. Hi. Thanks for coming, Ray. Are you in the neighborhood? Here's a gun. Well, why don't you carry it? I don't have a permit. Well, you don't have to shoot it. You can just carry it for me. All right. Yeah, this is work. Take your hands away from the device. Stand up. It's me. Uh, still lost, you see. I've been drinking more and uh, looking for the, the commode. Oh, ow! You shoot a gun. Who in the hell throws a gun? Well, I told you, Ray, I don't have a permit. Aside from which, we are still technically in United States waters, although at the rate of drift, I think we should be entering Canadian waters in approximately 83 seconds. Ready? <clears throat> You're both very clever. Unfortunately, it's all for nothing. This hole is rigged with a dozen charges, and I carry the detonator. I push it, breach the hull, and you spend the rest of time at the bottom of the lake. Now, you go down as well. Maybe. Maybe not. I suppose you got some sort of uh, escape pod kind of thing or something. Now, you might say that. You should have let this one go, Mounty. Hell, I didn't make the stuff. I'm just taking out some garbage from some lazy companies who are paying me good money. If I wouldn't have done it, somebody else would have. You systematically polluted the Great Lakes for your own profit. You planned a gold robbery. You murdered six men in the process. And in a final act of viciousness, you're going to sink a toxin-laden ship causing untold damage and destruction. And for that, you must face justice. I hate to tell you this, but justice and me are never going to be great pals. I hope you enjoy your stay at the bottom of the big lake they call Gichigumi. Me? <laughs> I'm going to be in the South Pacific. Possibly. Right now, my friend, you're in the Dominion of Canada.
bring up the net. This vessel sits above the wreck of Robert McKenzie. Brave men lie below us in these waters, men whose names and reputations you used. This is their graveyard. You didn't think they'd let you get away with it, did you? Ah, yes, it feels good to have a wooden deck beneath my feet again. It reminds me of the time I circumnavigated the globe with only the stars to guide me. And a bottle of rum. Oh, yes, of course, a bottle of rum. Always the rum. <laughs> Maybe we should take a swing around the lake before we go back. Sell something on the American side. I'll break your jaw. I'll break yours first. An officer likes discipline. How about you? You like discipline? Fraser. Sir. Your 10989B report. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, well, as soon as we reach port, I'll, uh, I'll be able to... Find I don't it. think we need to worry about it. We don't need to worry about my 10989B report, sir? Just this once. Thank you, sir. for you. Is that about it? Well, it would be the logical career move. I know. It's, it's what I think. That's what my instinct tells me. But Frobisher and I stood across from each other on the banks of that river, and, and we knew, without even speaking, we knew we'd come to the same conclusion, that sometimes you just have to make a leap, son. Sometimes you just have to leap. Thank you. For what? I realize that logic doesn't always work. I know. And I realize that going on instinct doesn't always work either. No. No, so... You gonna take the transfer? I don't think so. You? Me? No. All right, so we're... We're still, uh, I think. Okay, good. Right, sure. But you're only going 